So I was actually writing a video about the Hulk rework after grinding him in Grandmaster for a lot of games yesterday. And then he gets buffed. So now we're going to talk about the buffs, how they're going to affect Hog, how good Hog's going to be, and everything in between. But it says less than 20% of you are subscribed. So if you like updated news guides, in-depth breakdowns, and just want to support the channel, please subscribe and let's get into it. Now, Hog is honestly one of my best characters, and he's a character that I've put a crazy amount of hours on. I played him in Overwatch 1, and I grinded him in Overwatch 2 as well through both him being broken and him being very very weak but after the rework and after playing a fair amount on hog my takeaway is that he's just the same character like of course there's no more alternate fire there's a new trap cooldown and his breather works different but the character functions is strong and weak to the same things and he feels very very similar like a 6v6 off tank trapped in 5v5 where he's just going to eat every single freaking cooldown and while i don't think that trap is that interesting of an ability i think it's kind of always used in one of two ways either to combine with hook when you're pulling people in or you're using it by pushing past a tank or past a person and throwing it in a way that they'll back up into it that's kind of the two ways that you always use it i think it's at least better than his former alternate fire which felt very spammy and not very consistent but it's nothing that like reinvents the wheel on hog or fixes his fundamental weaknesses that being said his new breather seems like it's an effort to make him stronger against the things that want to shut him down because before you commit to a breathe and you get naded you get slept you get doom punched you get arisa javelin and then all of a sudden you're dead right they cancel this one cooldown that is required for you to be effective and then you're just kind of dead right almost every single time and you have to try to play around those things, but we often have way too many things to play around, right? That's kind of the problem with the one tank, the one off tank in a 5v5 format. You're just going to eat every cooldown. Everyone's going to save their cooldowns for you because you're the biggest threat on the battlefield. But now with the new breather, you're not nearly as punished, right? If you start to use your breather and then you get javelined, you can just do it again right afterwards. But to trade off for this flexibility, now it's not going to heal you as much. Or at least it didn't until these changes, which we'll talk about in a second. But it basically meant that you're sacrificing the power, the sustain of the ability for the fact that it's harder to counter. And after grinding over yesterday, I did initially think that if they made this ability too powerful, Hog could feel oppressive and unkillable. Because now there's no window to punish him with Breather. But then these buffs come through so keep everything i said in mind when we talk about these buffs because there's a little bit of a fear in the back of my brain that says hog might be completely unkillable if this breather in this version this state the state that you can't shut down becomes too powerful so they said this we're adjusting a few things with the new take a breather as our initial landing spot was slightly conservative these tweaks should offer roadhog more healing throughput and damage resistance from moment to moment while we are shortening the maximum duration, this gives Roadhog faster healing and should alleviate some of the feelings players had around being locked into using Take a Breather for a large chunk of their gameplay. So now the total healing is increased from 450 to 500, the damage reduction is increased from 30 to 40, the damage duration got reduced from 3 to 2.5 seconds, and the recharge time reduced from 12 to 10 seconds. And honestly, after grinding and playing Hawk, my initial impression was that he's kind of the same as he was before. He's still pretty weak, although he got a little bit more value against his counters as before. He wasn't shed down nearly as much as before, but he's still weak compared to a lot of the other tanks, and his fundamental flaws were not fixed. But in them buffing this take a breather, I'm a little bit concerned, or maybe it's a good thing, depending on how you're looking at it, that Hog is going to become this unkillable monstrosity. Now it's going to be pretty hard to punish Hog, and this ability in particular is an ability that is a little bit concerning, because it gets a little bit too strong, and then all of a sudden, there's no penalty, no cost, it's just a Hog that gets to keep healing himself over and over and over again while simultaneously fueling his ultimate while simultaneously eating every cooldown but he's not dying and he's able to just kind of shrug all the cc off just keep healing and uh, eventually get like some really impactful hook trap or ult plays that uh, can just kind of break open the game so before these buffs was Redhog good enough to compete not really he still was kind of the same as he was before but a little bit better at dealing with things that shut him down but still not great compared to other characters like D.Va and Sigma and more. But now he could start eking into the category where he's just way too difficult to deal with, where he can be very frustrating, especially in ranked play. And personally, I don't really think that this was the right direction to take with the character. 
I do love Roadhog. He's one of my most played characters. I absolutely love the character, but I don't think that he makes sense in a 5v5 world as a solo tank. He literally feels like the one tank that got hurt the most during the transition. Or he doesn't fit a solo tank playstyle the most because he's either consistently one-shotting and getting value that way and then he's busted or he doesn't do that and then you have to basically strengthen other parts of his kit so much to where they just become frustrating to deal with like this take a breather it is just gonna kind of be frustrating to deal with but i guess it's not that far off from like all of arissa's super survival abilities which i also don't like i don't think most people like them i think you know javelin spin and fortify having a tank that just literally ignores everything you're doing non-stop doesn't care doesn't care about your cc doesn't care about your damage i don't think that's a good thing for the game personally i don't think that trading damage non-stop is good for the game it kind of feels very double shield-esque like double shield meta from overwatch one where you're actually shooting things but does it really matter not really so anyways i think the final verdict on this is that i don't really like the rework and the direction they went in i don't think they fundamentally changed roadhog enough and the route that they're going to buff this character i think will create more unfun gameplay for everybody Perhaps you can make an argument that the Roadhog gameplay is going to be a little bit improved, but it's not going to be worth what you're trading out. And I would have much preferred just much bigger changes to this character, more dramatic changes, something along like the lines, something along the lines of like how big the change was for Sombra, where you're fundamentally changing her whole kit and her play style. Even Roadhog could have had like a role change or just much bigger changes than this. I don't think you look at the character in his current state and think you just need to tweak him to make him decent you need to fundamentally change him so that he has a place in overwatch 2 because he has been most affected by the swap to 5v5 out of just about anyone but let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below and how do you feel about these buffs and roadhog rework as a whole thank you please subscribe and i'll see you next time